You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Well, we're going to talk about Pat McAfee. As many of you know, he just started his transition into his ESPN show, of course, that was formerly exclusively on YouTube and completely uncensored. And probably his most popular day, his most popular segment, of course, is the now New York Jet quarterback, formerly Packers, Aaron Rodgers. Now, why was that one of his most popular segments? Maybe the most popular segment? Because Aaron Rodgers straight doesn't give a F. He doesn't want to be censored. He's not afraid of what anybody's got to say. He's not afraid of blowback. And that is going to be a very slippery slope for ESPN. Keep in mind, Aaron Rodgers is anti-vax. He aligns when it comes to the COVID in much of the same way as Robert Kennedy Jr. Does that tell you anything? RFK Jr. and Aaron Rodgers are aligned like this when it comes to things like COVID and censorship. Well, that goes exactly against all the principles of ESPN. There's already musings going on out there. John did a video earlier about the fact that ESPN is going to tape delay Pat McAfee's show. They're going to have his show on a delay. Why? They can censor some of the F-bombs that may be flowing. Well, Aaron Rodgers has come back and he said, I will be coming back for Aaron Rodgers Tuesdays. But you may have to catch his segments on other platforms. He just comes right out and says it. He sends a message straight to Pat. Sends a message straight to ESPN. I will not be censored. Bravo. Good. We don't want you to be censored. It's the biggest fear with what had grown in to basically the biggest sports show on YouTube was Pat's transition, and, and I continue to say this, so many people started watching Pat because they did not want to support Disney. Period. That was part of his growth. That was absolutely a thing. I'm interested to see these ratings when they come back around. This is the same network, folks, that had such a big issue with Sage Steele and her vaccination status. Anybody remember Aaron Rodgers in I'm Immunized? ESPN lost their minds over that. And now Aaron Rodgers is going to be coming on ESPN. But boy, this is going to get interesting. Aaron Rodgers fans will get an extra weekly dose of the Jets quarterback this season. During an appearance on the Pat McAfee show during its ESPN debut Thursday, Rodgers announced he will return to the show for, quote, Aaron Rodgers Tuesdays. This is where it gets really interesting. Quote, I will not be censoring myself, so if you got to go over and watch it at different places, he's saying literally, you may have to go consume it on a different platform. So if you've got to go over and watch it at different places, I will be the same old, same old, and I look forward to speaking with you all. Rogers 39 said, smiling. The former MVP added, quote, I miss my boys. Rogers, who was traded to the Jets in April, had his own segment, the Aaron Rodgers Book Club, for three seasons on the show while he was with the Packers. It was also the one platform where Rodgers discussed headlines and rumors about him, his game, and his personal life. Remember when he recently told Adam Schefter to lose his number? Guess what, guys? I turned the Pat McAfee show on right before I hit record on this video, and Adam Schefter was on the Pat McAfee show. Yeah, that's sort of where we're at as well as the COVID-19 drama when he said he was, quote, immunized against the virus. Very interesting. Let's listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we should make the announcement right now. You know, whenever it first started, people thought to themselves, what is this hacky B? S. Mm -hmm. He was there. Nobody wants to hear from a quarterback all year long on Tuesday. Literally, nobody else had really done it. And then season one is this smashing success. Yep, yep. smashing. That MVP what? winner for the yeah. quarterback. Season two, guess what? Smashing success. Yeah. Another MVP. Season three, okay, had a mm -hmm. had a thing. Mm -hmm. a little bit. Had, had a thing. But now season four in a new home. Aaron Rodgers Tuesday is back, baby. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go to your practice. We appreciate the hell out of you. We can't wait to chat with you on Tuesday. Good luck this season. Thank you, buddy. I can't wait to be with all you guys. I will not be censoring myself. So if you got to go over, watch it at different places, I will I will be the same old, same old. And uh, I look forward to speaking with all of you in the near future. Who's on the set? That was really good. Look at Pat's face. Look over to the side like, Oh, shit. He went there right off the bat. With all of you. In the near <laughs> Who's on the set? I miss, I miss, uh, I miss my boys. Is, uh, who we got there? So we got Derek. All right. So, uh, yeah, you can tell. Pat McAfee looked over to the side like, oh, shit. Aaron Rodgers just jumped right into it right off the bat. McAfee, of course, he wore his signature black tank top. I thought we were going to shut Hard Knocks down, and I'm glad they didn't because I had a great experience with it, Rodgers said. The guys had a great time with it, too. Rogers laughed when McAfee asked if he had anything cut out of the show before it aired. I didn't cut anything out. You heard wrong, which is wouldn't be a surprise concerning me. Stefan Diggs, quarterback Peyton Manning, and NFL insider Adam Schefter will appear on the Pat McAfee show during its ESPN premiere episode. Prior to the premiere, McAfee appeared on Thursday's first take. Teased that his show will bring good times and good celebrations. We will be celebrating sports for two hours here on ESPN and three hours on YouTube and ESPN+. Plus. He also praised first take host uh, Stephen A. Smith, Molly Karam, and added he and his crew are honored to follow the show on the daytime lineup. Quote, it's an honor to have you at the network. You're big time. So Stephen A. Smith then went on and, of course, praised McAfee with that little line. So it's going to be interesting to see how all of this works out involving Pat McAfee. But, again, ESPN's head, collective, collective heads blew off during the entire COVID fiasco. fiasco. They lost their minds and tried to keep Sage Steele's mouth shut to the point she had to file a lawsuit against them. Now, recently, she just up and left the company after, after there was a big settlement there. But now, Aaron Rodgers is coming on there. And I don't know if he's going to be on the YouTube-only part, ESPN+. Plus. So I guess he's going to have two hours and then an hour on YouTube and on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, and maybe that's when they're going to have Aaron Rodgers on, but he just comes out and says, Hey, Pat, I'm coming on your show, but these people may have to see me on a different platform because I'm not keeping my mouth shut. I'm not censoring myself, even for your show. I think that's what people expect out of Aaron Rodgers, and I appreciate the fact that he's at least coming out and saying, Don't expect it. It's not going to happen. Uh, Adam Schefter, lose my number. <laughs> I, again, I like Aaron Rodgers more and more all the time. UFOs, Novak's, Djokovic, I mean, all of it. I'm starting to really dig him. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.